What's going on YouTube? Today we have a brand new update and just in time if you ask me, I finally got my hands on the elusive G4 AR T-Mobile Home Gateway. I just did a review I'd say about 2-3 weeks ago about using Waveform's external antenna on the older Arcadian model, which I still say is a good way if you want to crack it open and if you want to get some pigtails and you want to connect some external antenna goodness to it. But of course, if you can find this one, you have the built-in antenna ports right on the bottom so you don't have to open this up. And I might do an extra video for you guys. I'm actually topping 800 megabits down with this new router because it does this whole nice carrier aggregation that the older model doesn't do. So if you can find a good deal on it, I highly recommend it. But in today's video, we're gonna check out the brand new antennas from Waveform. Now I'm gonna do a separate video on the Quad Pro here because I do have to go onto the roof and I have to set this up and I have to do a whole bunch of tests. But Waveform does say if you have the older antenna, the older external antenna, you do not need to change it. This is just more affordable and it's a lot more user friendly when it comes to installation. But as I said, we're not going to deal with that one. I'm going to do a separate video about that one, but I am going to show you the brand new Quad Mini. And this is more of an urban friendly solution. If you're like me, you live in New York City. You might not have access to your roof. You might not be able to go onto your roof. You might not want to go onto your roof because let's face it, that's a lot of work that you guys have to do. You have to drill holes, you have to run cables. And for most people, I'd say that's not worth it. But the Quad Mini here is definitely more affordable, easy to install, and it's an omnidirectional antenna, which means that you don't have to find the signal source for that, that tower that's closest to you. It's gonna do the work for you. It's gonna basically do that 360 antenna thing that the G4AR does already. And I can recommend this again, if you don't wanna run cables, you don't wanna jump on your roof, you live in an apartment, you're, you're renting instead of owning, and you just don't, want, you just don't wanna do a lot, of, a lot of upgrades that you might have to get rid of when you move. And it definitely is on the thinner side. It's about the, about the width of my thumb. So it really is an awesome size. And again, it's window mountable. And let's see what else we get inside of the box. Here's the shelf, shelf mounting system right there. You can mount it on a pole. So if you wanted to mount this outside on a pole, they do include the necessary hardware for it. But again, I'm gonna mount this inside. Yes, you can mount this directly on your window once again. So here are the suction cups that you're gonna need. Now let's see what else we get inside of this packaging here. Let me just put this aside. And in every order, they do include chocolate. I love chocolate, so I'm really happy to see that. Here's your quad mini quick installation guide. And let's see what we get inside of here. This is your window jumper. A nice solution if you wanted to mount this through your window without drilling any holes. Here's your pigtails that are gonna connect to the, your, your router, whether it's the G4AR, or whether it's the Arcadian that you've opened up. This is a thinner, thinner cable and they've spent a lot of time on design trying to get this right. So this will actually pass through your windowsill and you can still close your window with this cable through it. It's not gonna cut the wires in here. It's been tested, it's been confirmed. I really like this solution because it, it means that if you did wanna put this outside, you could go ahead and put this outside, run this through the window without any holes, without any drilling. So I'm definitely happy to see that. And you do get some screws, some anchors. Let me just put this back in the packaging and see what else we get inside here. Now Waveform is definitely one of those companies that goes well above and beyond and gives you a little bit extra. So here's some pigtails. If you guys wanted to crack open the old Arcadian model, they do give you the, the pigtails necessary to connect this. They also do give you an extender cable as well. So everything that you need, whether you wanted to mount this outside in some obscure location or whether you wanted to mount it on your windowsill, on your shelf, or however you want to mount it, they, they include all the necessary items that you need. Now, just as a side note, this window windowsill cable option is not available as a separate accessory. I'm sure they're gonna I'm sure they're gonna do that a bit later on in the future, but as of right now, you have to order the whole kit. I'll leave a link down in my description below if you want to save a little bit of coin. I got a little coupon down there to save you some coin as well. But this is a quad mini. I'm definitely really excited to test it out. I got to give Waveform those flowers because they did a really nice job of, of matching, color matching these two systems together. If you don't have the G4AR, chances are you will be able to get it soon. They are manufacturing more and more of them. So just kind of hold out or check eBay or check Facebook Marketplace or check Craigslist. I actually got this one off of Facebook. So again, you can find some deals out there, but I, I give them credit for matching the colors. So this is going to look really nice if you have a modern, modern type of interior. The antenna as well looks pretty nice and modern. So this is the stand mount. If you don't want to mount it on your window, or you don't want to do any of that. It kind of just sits nicely. 
I think that's pretty cool. So you could put them right next to each other if you wanted to. I'm going to test out all these solutions for you. I'm going to do speed tests. I'm going to do all of that. I'm going to timestamp it down below as well. Now, just as a side note, guys, I live in New York City, so I got a lot of towers around me. Looking at Cell Mapper, that's your best option to kind of find out where your closest antenna is. I've got about six antennas, 360, about two blocks away from me, so I should get some really nice speeds with this. I'm hoping it's going to increase it just a little bit. But if you have T-Mobile internet service or you're thinking about getting T-Mobile internet service, speeds fluctuate on the daily, speeds fluctuate on the minute, on the regular. Sometimes you get 800, sometimes you get 500, sometimes you get 200. Just depends on cell tower congestion. It depends on a whole bunch of things. But I'm generally getting at the low end, four or 500 on the high end, 800. I've pretty much been staying about 700 since I got the G4AR here. So I'm excited to see what, what this is going to do. Of course, we're going to check out the cellular metrics and all of that good stuff. And if you are interested in the pro model, by the time you're watching this video, I'll probably have another video out showing you that pro model. I do have to go on the roof. It's a little bit cold here. So once we get some warmer days, I'm going to go up on the roof and switch out the antennas. But right now, we're taking a look at the more urban friendly one. We've been chatting for a while. Let's go ahead and test it out. I just installed the antenna. It's right up there on my window. Now, once I do these tests, I am going to clean this up a little bit. And I also do have some 90 degree angle adapters. So this is my setup. I'm all done. Everything is, is pretty much done for me. Now, I've used the desktop stand just because it was a lot better for me versus using the window mount. I tried multiple different windows, different ways, different positions. And again, for me, this is the best, best location where I get the fastest speeds. And it is placed right next to my G4 AR right here. Now talking about speeds guys, I actually got some of the fastest speeds that I ever got using T-Mobile's home internet and that's 1.1 gigabit per second down. I never thought in my wildest dreams I would get that speed from T-Mobile's home internet. Now if you have T-Mobile's internet, you know speeds vary depending on the time of the day, congestion and everything else that goes on with wireless technology. But overall, I'm still getting between five on the low end to an average of about 800 on the high end. Again, I do touch nine. I do touch 1.1 gigabit per second. That is rare. That's not sustainable. That doesn't happen all the time, but I, it is possible. And that was the only time I got it was when I connected my quad mini here. So you are going to see a benefit when it comes to some speed. Now in my area, again, if I show you outside my window, which I'm not going to do, because then it's going to disclose my location but I've got about four antennas that I can personally see whether it's through the window or if I head up to the roof. So I'm actually in a very, very good position when it comes to 5G home internet. Now your results may vary. I'd suspect if you live more in the countryside and you're struggling to get a strong signal, this is gonna help you immensely. And again, the price is right and it's a very easy installation. You don't have to jump on the roof. And because of its size and portability, you can actually carry it with you around your house to see where you get the best speed versus having a, a, a roof mounted antenna where you really have to get that position, climb back down, do some speed tests, go back up, bup, 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 you get the point. So I would recommend the quad mini again. I think it's a overall better solution, but your results might vary. If you're deep in the country, of course, having that external antenna is going to give you more connectability is what I'm going to call it. A, a larger antenna, you're going to be able to capture more of that signal. But if you already have decent speeds, if you already have relatively good metrics and you just want to give it a little bit of a boost, definitely check out the Quad Mini. So now I could show you a whole bunch of different speed tests, but that's that's not the whole point of this. The whole point is to check out the Quad Mini antenna. And my my metrics have improved just a little bit as well. Just a couple points, a couple points in, in improvement when it comes to the Mini. Now, I'm in a very special location once again. Your results are going to vary, but test it out. I think it's going to be worth it for a lot of people there. Now, let's just do one speed test really quickly. We're live. We're connected to Ethernet. Now, all my other speed tests that I showed you, I was sitting right next to my router, so you're going to get the same speeds over Ethernet versus just standing extremely close to that Wi-Fi 6 router. This is a computer connected to, to Ethernet so right now. Right now I got about 600 and the time is three o'clock. So it's midday. Let's go ahead and do one more speed test and see what we're gonna get. I just got a speed test of about 700. Once again, this is T-Mobile's home internet. It, it varies, it really does depend on a lot of factors. My other speed tests, I was in the Bronx. I think I was, now I'm in Brooklyn. So I'm getting a, still a very respectable 620 megabits a second down. My upload is 130. 
And my ping has improved using the quad mini antenna as well. Let's just go ahead and do one more, see if we're going to get anything a little bit better than 620. I know I'm being a little bit on the selfish side. This time around, we got about 440. And my ping is still about 60. Now you see my loaded ping went down to about 50. So big improvement there from the hundreds that we just saw a little bit earlier on. Well, from that last speed test, we'll just do one more. Let's see if we get something a little bit faster here. 580, let's see if it touches six. Yep. So this is pretty much normal for about midday, 610. Let's see if my ping, my ping is improved. Here's my loaded. So it does vary, but I've been very impressed with the quad mini antenna. Very nice speeds. So my upload speed went down just a little bit. You know what, guys? Let's just do one more speed test. I know we all love speed tests. Let's just go ahead and check out one more. So it's staying about 520 right now. And my upload improved to about 110. And we'll do one more just for fun. And there we go. We jumped all the way up to 820. That's what I'm talking about. I like to see the 800s now. I know I'm definitely spoiled at this point after installing that, that antenna. But I like to see 7, 8, 9. I even love to see when I touch that gigabit speeds. I'm willing to bet sometime in the future we're all going to get gigabit speeds from T-Mobile's home internet service. 820 should we roll the dice one more time? I'm a gambling man. I'm going to roll the dice one more time, see if we get something a little bit faster. And womp womp, we're back down to the 500s, about 530. In any event, that's still a very respectable speed. But well, that's basically it. If you're looking for a nice solution, I would highly recommend the Quad Mini. Give it a try, give it a whirl. Let me know what your results are down in the comments below. Let me know what speeds you're getting as well. I am overall super happy. Again, I'm, I'm really not seeing anything lower than 500 these days. And that's an absolute win. So I highly recommend it for me. But that's about it. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment as that helps me out as well. Let me know if you want to see more content about this beautiful device right here, the T-Mobile Home Internet Gateway. I'm so happy I kicked Spectrum to the curb. I can't even tell you. And my wallet's happy at that. Catch you in another video.